First, that I think uh, we're all advocating for change. We all want to change the status quo, which is George W. Bush and the Republican domination of Washington for so many years. How likely is it that one of the candidates will try to diminish the power of the machine? Instead of hoping for a miracle, let's try to enact change from within, from us. Welcome to Collateral. I know you're out there. I can feel you now. I know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. First, nothing slows the machine down more than depriving it of money. Your money. What do you do with it? Do you have an account with a large bank? If so, why not go to a more socially responsible neighborhood credit union or a local bank? Ask your Chamber of Commerce for a list and ask your bank what percentage of their deposits are reinvested locally in the community as opposed to reinvesting in national or international money markets. For a more detailed checklist, go to the URL at the end of the credits. Remember, if 1% of U.S. homeowners shifted their $200,000 mortgage in like fashion, that would be about a half trillion dollars that the machine would be deprived of. Second, we spend about $1 trillion or 10% of our GDP annually on food. The vast majority of this money flows through the cash registers of supermarkets and corporations that oppress farmers and promote the use of pesticides and growth hormones in order to maximize profits. Why don't you shop at a co-op instead? They're owned by the people who use them. They don't care about shareholder profits. And they sell a great deal of locally produced products, which fosters the growth of small independent farms. Here's a website you can go to to help you find a co-op near you. Third, buying a used car instead of a new car deprives the machine of the interest they would get from the loan you've taken. Keep in mind, the average new car loan in 2007 was for more than $30,000. They need your money. That's why ads for new cars are so ubiquitous. Need a new car or truck? Get to Chevy and transform your ride. For Even better, join a car share. They typically don't charge for gas and insurance, and you pay a relatively small fee each time you use the car. Remember, the less cars the auto industry sells, the smaller their political influence. Fourth, we need to break through the barriers that separate us from the people who live near us. We need to know our neighbors, rebuild our communities, and speak up about the issues that most concern us. You'd be surprised by how many people, and sometimes the people you least expect, are as sick of the machine as you are. These are four simple steps, and they're only a beginning. But by doing these things, we're actually reducing the power of the machine. We're cutting it down to a size where it may actually start serving people. If we can't do that, we get rid of it. Whatever it takes in 2008. Hope to see you next week.